This video is about working with rational expressions. A rational expression is a fraction, usually with variables in it. Something like x plus 2 over x squared minus 3 is a rational expression. In this video, we'll practice adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing rational expressions and simplifying them to lowest terms. We'll start with simplifying to lowest terms. Recall that if you have a fraction with just numbers in it, something like 21 over 45, we can reduce it to lowest terms by factoring the numerator and factoring the denominator and then canceling common factors. So in this example, the threes cancel and our fraction reduces to seven over 15. If we wanna reduce a rational expression with variables in it to lowest terms, we proceed the same way. First, we'll factor the numerator, that's three times x plus two, and then factor the denominator in this case, it factors to x plus 2 times x plus 2. We could also write that as x plus 2 squared. Now we cancel the common factors, and we're left with 3 over x plus 2. Definitely a simpler way of writing that rational expression. Next, let's practice multiplying and dividing. Recall that if we multiply two fractions with just numbers in them, we simply multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So in this case, we would get 4 times 2 over 3 times 5, or 8 fifteenths. If we want to divide two fractions, like in the second example, then we can rewrite it as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction on the denominator. So here we get 4 fifths times 3 halves, and that gives us 12 tenths, but actually we could reduce that fraction to 6 fifths. We use the same rules when we compute the product or quotient of two rational expressions with variables in them. Here we're trying to divide two rational expressions, so instead we can multiply by the reciprocal. I call this flipping and multiplying. And now we just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. It might be tempting at this point to multiply out, to distribute out the numerator and the denominator, but actually it's better to leave it in this factored form and factor it even more completely. That way we'll be able to reduce the rational expression to cancel the common factors. So let's factor it even more. The x squared plus x factors as x times x plus 1, and x squared minus 16, that's a difference of two squares, that's x plus 4 times x minus 4. The denominator is already fully factored, so we'll just copy it over, and now we can cancel common factors here and here, and we're left with x times x minus 4. This is our final answer. Adding and subtracting fractions is a little more complicated because we first have to find a common denominator. A common denominator is an expression that both denominators divide into. It's usually best in the long run to use the least common denominator, which is the smallest expression that both denominators divide into. In this example, if we just want a common denominator, we could use 6 times 15, which is 90, because both 6 and 15 divide evenly into 90. But if we want the least common denominator, the best way to do that is to factor the two denominators. So 6 is 2 times 3, 15 is 3 times 5, and then put together only the factors we need for both 6 and 15 to divide our number. So if we just use 2 times 3 times 5, which is 30, we know that 2 times 3 will divide it, and 3 times 5 will also divide it. And we won't be able to get a denominator any smaller because we need the factors 2, 3, and 5 in order to ensure both these numbers divide it. Once we have our least common denominator, we can rewrite each of our fractions in terms of that denominator. So 7 sixths, I need to 
get a 30 in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply that by 5 over 5. I multiply by the factors that are missing from the current denominator in order to get my least common denominator of 30. For the second fraction, 4 fifteenths, 15 times 2 is 30, so I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2. Now I can rewrite this as 35 thirtieths minus 8 thirtieths, and now that I have a common denominator, I can just subtract my two numerators, and I get 27 thirtieths. If I factor, I can reduce this to 3 squared over 2 times 5, which is 9 tenths. The process for finding the sum of two rational expressions with variables in them follows the exact same process. First, we have to find the least common denominator. I'll do that by factoring the two denominators. So 2x plus 2 factors as 2 times x plus 1. x squared minus 1, that's a difference of two squares, so that's x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now for the least common denominator, I'm going to take all the factors I need to get an expression that each of these divides into. So I need the factor 2, I need the factor x plus 1, and I need the factor x minus 1. I don't have to repeat the factor x plus 1, I just need to have it one time. And so I will get my least common denominator 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. I'm not going to bother multiplying this out, it's actually better to leave it in factored form to help me simplify later. Now I can rewrite each of my two rational expressions by multiplying by whatever's missing from the denominator in terms of the least common denominator. So what I mean is I can rewrite 3 over 2x plus 2. I'll, I'll write the 2x plus 2 as 2 times x plus 1. I'll write it in factored form. And then I notice that compared to the least common denominator, I'm missing the factor of x minus 1. So I multiply the numerator and the denominator by x minus 1. I, I just need it in the denominator, but I can't get away with just multiplying by the denominator without changing my expression. I have to multiply by it on the numerator and the denominator, so I'm just multiplying by 1 in a fancy form and not changing the value here. So now I do the same thing for the second rational expression. I'll, I'll write the denominator in factored form to make it easier to see what's missing from the denominator. What's missing in this denominator compared to my least common denominator is just the factor 2. So I'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. Now I can rewrite everything, so the first rational expression becomes 3 times x minus 1 over 2 times x plus 1, x minus 1, and the second one becomes 5 times 2 over 2 times x plus 1, x minus 1. Notice that I now have a common denominator, so I can just add together my numerators. So I get 3 times x minus 1 plus 10 over 2 times x plus 1, x minus 1. I'd like to simplify this, and the best way to do that is to leave the denominator in factored form, but I do have to multiply out the numerator so that I can add things together. So I get 3x minus 3 plus 10 over 2 times x plus 1, x minus 1, or 3x plus 7 over 2 times x plus 1, x minus 1. Now, 3x plus 7 doesn't factor, and there's therefore no factors that I can cancel out. So this is already reduced as much as it can be. This is my final answer. In this video, we saw how to simplify rational expressions to lowest terms by factoring and canceling common factors. We also saw how to multiply rational expressions by multiplying the numerator and multiplying the denominator, how to divide rational expressions by flipping and multiplying, and how to add and subtract rational expressions by writing them in terms of the least common denominator.